today I have another port charlotte on my cask. It's the SC01 heavily peated nine year old 2012 edition. Port Charlotte, for everybody who doesn't know, is a little town south of the town Brochladi, and the distillery of Brochladi produced this, and they have warehouses in the town of uh, Port Charlotte, and that's why they called one of their brands Port Charlotte. They already had some ideas of yeah, expanding there, building a distillery there, but last time I was there, 2015, they said, yeah, there's always a bit of a discussion going on with that, but there's always enough red tape that we're not doing that. So, yeah, they're not doing that. Um, but I have another nice story before I begin with the whiskey about Port Charlotte. I've been there, I've just wanted to see these warehouses. And I saw a few guys there who wanted to get some casks out from the distillery. And one guy was in the second floor, one guy was in the first floor. And obviously the, the guy in the second floor had a cask and he wanted to get it down to the guy in the first so I was like, okay, does he get a forklift or is there like a, a winch or something there? And the other guy just pulled out, the guy at the bottom, pulled out a big cube of foam, like went up like to here, like, I don't know, six feet, one, 180, nah, a little bit less maybe. And he just put it there on the ground. I was like, yeah, is that guy kidding? <laughs> and the other guy in the second floor just, well, first floor, if you count him, uh, we can't um, European, so like one floor above ground floor, and he just pushed the cast down. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that cast was gonna break. And it landed right on the, the foam cube and just compressed it, decelerated it, and just rolled off and was okay. They did it with another couple of a couple of casks, and it was it's just the standard method of getting casks from one floor up to ground floor. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I think I don't know how they get it up there, but probably a forklift. But uh, yeah, it's um, it doesn't really look safe, but it probably is. Yeah. So let's talk about the SC01. It's one of these uh, bottlings that they have. Uh, they call parcels. So they refill often. So they have sherry cast. They have first fill and second fill. American oak cask, and then they have the last one, the finish in ex sultan wine cask. So triple cask matured as you are, maybe uh, quadruple cask if you can count second and uh, first fill differently. And yeah, that sounds like a really good combination. Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, what a chimney. It's really, it smells like a chimney where you smoke uh, some ham, yeah. Oh, mm, smoking chamber, a chamber. Oh yeah, that is nice. And a little bit of a bourbon character, but just a smidge of it. But what you also get is a bit of a apple fruity kind of way. Very ripe red apple, that's the, that's the thing here. And I like it. Oh, you realize, they, they are messing around with a nice cask here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, forgot to mention. 55.2% ABV. Mm. Quite some stuff. Mmm. A little bit tacking because of the alcohol. Nicely sweet. What I was missing with the, the bourbon flavor is in the taste with a little bit touch of a honey to it as well a lot of smoke a little bit of that apple coming through i didn't have that in the first sip but now in the second sip i got a little bit of apple in there as well mm. Mm. and a little bit of chocolate bitter sweetness in the finish so it's a, a very well-rounded complex whiskey mm. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. A nice, well-rounded, complex smoke bomb. Even with a little bit of floral going on. I, I love it when you have floral and smokiness in a whiskey. It just works together really, really nicely. Mm. So, yeah. Um, I really got fond of these uh, Port Charlotte. 
At the beginning, Horst was just giving me these Octomoys, like, yeah, you got the stinky one. And um, now I got the Port Charlotte as well, and I'm really fond of them. I really do like the brand of, of Port Charlotte. At the beginning, I was more fond of the Octomore, but now I'm quite fond of the Port Charlotte as well. So they're neck to neck now. And um, I think it's because of the casks. They're doing really nice stuff or the casks of the Port Charlotte. If you look at the different bottlings that are out there, they have so many different nice casks and they have so much character and it's all about character. Yeah, so my recommendation for the Port Charlotte SC01 heavily peated, nine year old 2012, nice whiskey. That was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.